Is it your turn to clean up after her? I did it last time. Mm, if only there was like a robot that could clean up for us. Or, hear me out, the horses can just stay outside. Or hear me out, robots. <laughs> Horse hair is the worst. Hair in general is the worst, not that I would know. We've had a Narwhal Frio in our kitchen for about the last year now. And Narwhal just released an upgraded version called the Narwhal Frio X Ultra, which supposedly has a zero tangling floating brush that does not get knotted up with hair. It also has a new internal maintenance free trash compactor, all while utilizing an incredible 8,200 pascals of industry leading suction power which is more than twice the suctioning ability of even their previous vacuum. And of course, it is still a mop. Narwhal says this new vacuum has exceptional power with minimal maintenance, and I would have to agree. I'll take this part since I have more experience with hair. There's a few ways that Narwhal designed their brush to be tangle-free. First thing, the brush is completely free-floating on one side, with no bearings to catch or tangle up the hair. This means if the vacuum encounters hair, horse, human, or otherwise, the angled bristles and cone-shaped rubber fins direct the hair to the free-floating side of the brush where it gets sucked into the HEPA-grade dust collection bag. Trying to film this in action was rather difficult since the X-Ultra has a million safety sensors, but the brush indeed just zips all the hair right off the end of a spinning shaft, instead of getting all tangled up like in other vacuums. Pretty cool design. Robot technology is improving super fast. Getting the Frio X-Ultra set up only took about five minutes. Thanks to the help of a very unique top-mounted spinning laser sensor, these lasers can scan a room in seconds. Combine that with a low front proximity laser that can detect objects, pets, and shoes down to the millimeter, and a third laser for even more sensing over on the side. There's no more bumping into walls to learn where the world is. It gets laser mapped in a very short amount of time. I can schedule the robot to clean at certain times, clean certain rooms, or even a specific area, like we're gonna do right now with some M&Ms. Cambria has accidentally spilled some mini M&Ms all over the floor. Oops. And our Narwhal Frio friend needs to go clean them up. So I'll just draw a square on the map that the Narwhal Frio X Ultra has created of our house. Film cleaning started. And the Narwhal Frio will exit the base station, travel over, and clean them up pretty quickly. The little side brushes reach out like tiny arms to scoop the chocolate into the center, where the vacuum suction section can pick them all up. The robot handled the mini M&Ms just fine, but can it handle the much larger regular sized M&Ms? Size comparison from a mini M&M and a regular sized M&M. The regular size are probably three or four times bigger. It looks like the suction is strong enough to pick up even the much larger pieces of chocolate. The sucked up M&Ms end up in the Frio X Ultra's trash compactor compartment, similar to the one found in Star Wars. On the way back to the base station, it constricts the bag to compress all the fuzz, dust, and dirt so that the Frio X Ultra can go even longer between bin changes. Which is about four to seven weeks, depending on how many indoor horses you have. The ideal number of indoor horses, though, would obviously be zero. The Narwhal Frio X Ultra can be a vacuum or a mop or both at the same time. There are dual saturated microfiber triangular mop pads spinning 180 rotations per minute. These apply 12 newtons of rotational downward scrubbing force to the ground, which is far better than other robot mops that just drag a wet pad along the floor. The triangular pads overlap in the center to ensure they don't miss any areas. And since the Frio X Ultra is shaped like a circle, it has a little dance move called edge swing, which gets the edge of the pad near the wall or around chair legs to make sure every crevice is cleaned. And those mop pads can raise up and out of the way when it meets a doormat or some carpet. And the rear wheel can prop up the X Ultra for an extra 12 millimeters of ground clearance. We have found that the machine is most happy on hard floors like wood or tile, but it's nice that it has the ability to do carpet as well. Finally, when the Frio X Ultra is done cleaning or needs to refresh its microfiber pads, it drives into the base station, where a cleanable, transparent agitator automatically scrubs the pads so they get rejuvenated, dried, and sterilized. The dirty water from the pads is stored in a separate tank, which can be hard-lined into a water line and drain in a house, or just emptied manually. Since our machine is stored in a dining room, I just empty mine manually. And it might be a little bit gross, but the dirtiness of the water shows that the mop is actually doing its job. 
After the pads are cleaned, internal blowers heat air to 104 degrees Fahrenheit to dry the pads, and that same air also flows through the dust collection bag, making sure no trap moisture can cause any smells. Then when it's time to go out and clean again, water mixes with detergent to soak into the long microfibers, and the Free OX Ultra is free to go about his business. Using sensor arrays and algorithms to identify areas that need extra attention, the Frio can go back and re-clean dirty areas two, three, four times until the floor is spotless. It's a pretty wild system and worked awesome back when the floor was incredibly muddy during my bunker project. The Narwhal Frio can clean a lot. The internal battery gives it a 210 minute runtime. And there you have it. The Narwhal Frio X Ultra can handle big human messes, little human messes, and even horse size messes. Where should the living house? Where should the living barn? The Narwhal Frio X Ultra <laughs> is is launching today. Narwhal has given us some pretty substantial discounts. I'll leave those in the video description. We've enjoyed the original a lot. It's pretty fun to see how far technologies come with these upgrades. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around. Perfect. All right, it's time for the horses to go back outside. No, you let them in. They're staying. No, that's not. Nope. Indoor horses for life.